Hey, this is Levi's Little Lectures, and I'm Levi from TorahFamily.org. I want to talk to you today about the ten older brothers of a boy named Joseph. They were very jealous of Joseph. Joseph was their dad's favorite son. His dad gave him a special coat made of many colors. This made his brothers not like him. Then, one night, Joseph had a dream. The dream was about his brothers bowing down to him. It says in Genesis 37, 5, Now Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, they hated him even more. His brothers didn't like him already, because he was their dad's favorite son. But then he goes and tells them the dream about them bowing down to him. Not smart. He only made them more mad. We don't know if he was trying to brag about the dream, or if he was just excited about it. Either way, not cool. For example, have you ever been excited about a new toy or maybe something fun you got to do? Did you talk about it to a friend? Did you brag about it? Your friend may have felt you only wanted to make yourself look better than them. Whether Joseph was trying to brag about the dream or not, his brothers didn't like it. They took his coat away from him. Genesis thirty-seven twenty-three. So when Joseph came to his brothers, they stripped him of his robe, the robe of many colors that he wore. Joseph ended up being sold into slavery. But even though Joseph went through hard times, Yahweh looked after him, and he eventually became a great leader in Egypt. Genesis 42, 6. Now Joseph was governor over the land. He was the one who sold to all the people of the land. And Joseph's brothers came and bowed themselves before him with their faces on the ground. It was just like his dream. They had come to buy grain for their family and did not know they were bowing down to their little brother. He had become great by being faithful to Yahweh. His dream became a reality even through his brother's jealousy. They no longer were jealous of him, but saw it was Yahweh who made Joseph great. When we get jealous of what others have or get to do, we should remember that Yahweh has great things for us too. We may not see it now, but his blessings are there when we follow his ways. Genesis 42, 12 And Joseph provided his father, his brothers, and all his father's household with food, according to the number of their dependents. The brothers were taken care of by Joseph, the one they were jealous of. Turn your jealousy into being thankful to Yahweh. Thank Him for giving you what you do have and the things that you will have. Don't be jealous. Be thankful. We hope you have enjoyed this teaching. Remember, don't just listen to the Word. Do what it says. That's the only way to grow. Until next time, Shalom.